What up, YouTube? We're making a balsamic vinaigrette and a house-made salad today. So to start out, you guys, what I did is I have this rubberized bowl stabilizer. Otherwise, if you don't have a bowl stabilizer, you can use a damp towel and place it underneath your bowl, and that helps it from shaking. And then what you want to do is add your one tablespoon of honey. your one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and your one clove of minced garlic, and then to this you want to add a half a cup of balsamic vinegar, and this recipe has very little ingredients in it, so you want to make sure you're using the highest ingredients possible. So to start out, only add a quarter of a cup of your balsamic vinegar. and then whisk this all together. When you whisk, your vinegar should go from a black color to a slightly pale brown. And then you wanna add your other quarter of a cup of balsamic. And then after you add your balsamic, you want to add your half teaspoon of sea salt and your quarter teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. If you add it at the beginning, I just noticed that the salt kind of clumps up and you get chunks of salt everywhere. Once you have everything mixed together, what you want to do is create an emulsion. So you slowly want to drizzle the olive oil in, which we're using a half a cup. And if this vinaigrette is a little too acidic for you, you can use um, three quarters of a cup of oil instead. So what you want to do is slowly stream in the oil while stirring constantly. And this will give you a smooth vinaigrette. What am I trying to say here? So, <laughs> to make this sound look more like it came from a restaurant, what you want to use is a piece of slate tile, which is totally optional. A paper plate would work just as well too. And it's an unglazed piece and I put rubberized padding on the bottom so it won't scrape your countertop or your kitchen table. And then I wash this thoroughly, and I really do mean thoroughly, you have no clue where these have been. So that way you can host your next dinner party and impress all your people. Alright you guys, so you always just want to lightly tear your lettuce. You never want to cut it because when you cut it with a metal knife what happens is the leaves oxidize and then it kind of gets that metallic tasting and your leaves turn brown really fast. So I just have a little garden mix here or spring mix whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to get a couple little different varieties of the lettuce in here. And now I'm not going to put my vegetables but I do have green beans, radish, carrots, and cucumbers. But I just want to toss this because I believe that your lettuce should be coated and that all your toppings or vegetables should be raw. And then what you want to do is with your tongs, I know these are ginormous, but that's all I have at the moment, and take your vinaigrette and put as much as you like, I just like a couple spoonfuls. And then the most important step, which I feel most people forget, is to salt and pepper your salad. I know that sounds really weird, but in the restaurant we do that to every salad and that's why restaurant food tastes so good. And then you want to toss this all together very gently. Remember, lettuce is very delicate and dainty, so keep it delicate and dainty. So here you guys, I have some toasted almonds, the radish, carrots, and green beans, and I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time you guys, adios.